Hi there guys, welcome to the Dutch Sea Channel, thank you very much for tuning in. And this is a video in my series about the uh, Ender Free from Creality and this is the S1 Pro model. So this will hopefully be a short video in which I test whether the printer can resume after it has run out of filament. It is now in the process of printing as you can uh, see. It's printing one of the uh, test objects that came on the, with the printer on its uh, memory card. So uh, we'll just snip off the filament, have it run out and then actually feed in uh, a different kind, a different color of filament and then see if we can resume. Here we go! Are you serious? Alrighty guys, here we go. The printer is printing away and I'm gonna snip it off about a centimeter above the printer sensor. And I'm gonna take it. And let's see what happens. Right, printer is still printing along. I have no idea how soon the printer sensor or the filament sensor will kick in. Ta -ta 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 -ta. Exciting! I generally have no idea how good or how bad this is going to turn out. Ta 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 ta. Okie dokie. Okie dokie. The printer head is now moved aside. And you won't be able to see uh, the screen. But the screen says uh, the filaments are running out. What? Nice English. <laughs> yeah, the filaments are running out. Please feed new filament in and. Uh, okay try again or resume. So that's what we'll do. So I've got a roll of red PLA here. It is PLA, so the same type of material if you will. Okay, let's get a clean start here. And uh, oh, also I'm gonna get the remaining filament out of the head. That's probably a good idea. So I'm going to pull it out, then feed that new filament into the sensor and into the head obviously, just like you would uh, ordinarily do. Now I'm sure you won't be able to read the screen. Actually I am having trouble reading the screen. But we will uh, say yes. Yes. Continue. Okay, that's it for the user interface and so the screen says it is now heating up the nozzle again. The print bed was still at the right temperature and the nozzle is almost again at the right temperature. Exciting. Is it going to resume? And guess what? The printer is, well, at least trying to resume. Huh. Okie dokie. Yeah, obviously it is. Um, yeah, so obviously it is mandatory or important to use the same type of material when you resume your print, right? I hope that makes sense. You don't want to resume the print with something completely different. Your print job is set up for a specific type of material. But sure enough, uh, that uh, that cat I was printing, that test object is now being continued in red. Yeah, and you know what? I'll uh, pause the video and I will jump to it to the printer almost ready or ready with my test print. I'm anxious to see if it makes anything out of this. So how do you like them apples, right? Oh, perfect. So that, that's a win for this uh, Ender 3D S1 Pro or probably the, the non-pro version as well. It works like a charm and it actually uh, 
looks pretty nice as well. No issues whatsoever actually. Well, every time you swap filaments you're left with uh, this, a pile of uh, something. Yeah, so uh, what it comes down to is uh, the printer then uh, reprimes the head. As it should probably. So that's nice, uh, right? So you might actually think that this is a legit way of, uh, well, multicolor printing uh, with an Ender 3. And, and it is. It, it definitely this works. There's no downside in print quality. However, in every change in color you waste this amount of filament, right? Yeah, so why? Well, because uh, the filament sensor is on top of the printer, at the top of the printer, and you're printing down low over here, so the distance from the print head to that filament sensor is what you waste every time. So keep that in mind. Other than that, again, this resume function of the Ender 3 S1 definitely works. So that's it. Short little video testing the resume function of the Ender 3. S1 Pro from Creality. There you go. If you are left with questions, hit me up a comment down below. Catch you on the next video. Bye bye.